Hello class. I welcome you to today's lesson. Our topic for today is mathematical induction. When you talk about mathematical induction, it's a method of proving that a statement, a theorem, or a formula is true for each and every natural number n. Now, the principle of mathematical induction involves three steps. So we consider a statement P of n, where n is natural number, and then we determine the validity of this statement by using the three steps. The first step is to check whether the statement is true for n equals to 1. So step 1 says test if this statement is true for n equals to 1. This is the factual statement. And then step 2 is a conditional statement. We assume here, yeah, we assume that the given statement P of n is also true for n equals to k. Where k is n positive integer. And then step 3, we now prove that the result is also true for p of k plus 1. So now we don't have it as p of n again. We are assuming in the third step that n is k plus 1. Once these three conditions are satisfied, we can say that the statement is true for all natural numbers n. Now let's take a look at some examples. So the first one we have showed that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n minus 1 is equal to n square. So we want to show that this statement is valid. or want to show that the statement is true. So the first step, we look at the statement. We check if it is true for n equals to 1. So if we have n equals to 1 here, this is 1 square. So 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1. It gives us 1 equals to 1 square. We know that 1 square is 1. So 1 is equal to 1. And we know that this is true. So it has satisfied the first condition. And we move on to the second condition, which says assume that n is equal to k. So if we assume that n is equal to k, this statement becomes 1 plus 3 plus 5. And then here we have 2k minus 1. Remember that we are assuming that n is equal to k is equal to k squared. Do you understand? And then we have the third step, which says it will satisfy the condition of n equals to k plus 1. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus. Remember this is extension in mathematics. So we have some numbers in between. Here we have 2 into bracket k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 squared. So we have replaced the original statements with this statement with the fact that n is equal to k plus 1. So now that we have that, we can now move to the next step, which is still under this step. This one, if you look at this, is an arithmetic progression of odd numbers. So here we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus. Now I told you there are some numbers in between this. If we are to expand this, the term before this term is going to be 2k minus 1. Remember, I don't know with odd numbers, arithmetic progression of odd numbers. We have 2k minus 1 here plus 2 into bracket k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 squared. So from the answer that we got in step 2, we can substitute this everything here is equal to k squared. So we have the all of this can be written as k squared. So now we have k squared plus 2 into bracket k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 square. So here we have k square plus, we need to put what is inside this 2, is to, to open this bracket, you have 2k plus 2 minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 square. So now we have k square plus 2k, yes plus 1 because 2 minus 1 gives you 1 
you go to k plus 1 square. Now this can be written as k plus 1 is yes, k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 square. So this is also k plus 1 square. Now we can see that it satisfied the third condition. So since it has satisfied the three conditions, we know that by mathematical induction, the statement is true. Or we can say the statement is valid. Yes. Is valid. So we have shown that. Now let's look at the second example it says use mathematical induction to show that one plus two plus three plus extension to n is equal to n to bracket n plus one over two for all integers and greater than or equal to one so we check if it is true for n equals to one which is the first step so we have n equals to one here is it true? We have 1 is equal to 1 into bracket 1 plus 1 over 2. Now, 1 plus 1 gives us 2 times 1, 2. So, 1 is equal to 2 over 2. And we know 2 divided by 2 will give you 1. So, 1 is equal to 1. This is true. Then, step 2, we assume. So, we assume that it is also true for n is equal to k. So that statement now becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus extension up to k equal to k, k plus 1 over 2. Then we can move on to step 3, which says that we must show that this result is also true for n equals to k plus 1. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the other that plus k plus 1. Remember, we're now assuming that k, that n is k plus 1. Then here we have k plus 1. We have k plus 1 again. Plus 1. Plus the 1 out there. Then all over 2. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. Plus extension. Plus k plus 1. Is equal to k plus 1. If you open this k plus 1 plus 1. Gives you k plus 2. Over 2. So if you look at this part, it can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3. Yes, plus dot 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 plus. This is also an arithmetic progression of 1. You add 1, 1, 1. So if you extend this, you have the first term as k plus k. Yes, we have the term that comes before this as k. Plus k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 k plus 2 over 2. Now, everything here can be substituted as k into by the k plus 1 over 2 because everything here is what we have in step 2, which is equal to this. So, we substitute this into this. So, it's going to replace this whole term. Yes. So, now we have k into bracket k plus 1 all over 2. Yes. Then, plus k plus 1 plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 k plus 2 and everything here is over 2 so if we multiply 2 by 2 we have k into bracket k plus 1 plus 2 into bracket k plus 1 and then on this side we have k plus 1 k plus 2 to look at this this gives us k plus 1 k plus 2 which is also the same thing so we have here so we can see that the statement holds for n equals to k plus 1 having satisfied the three conditions we can say that by mathematical induction this statement is true so i want you to try this on your own i want you to use mathematical induction to show that one square plus two square plus three square plus n which gives us n into bracket n plus one two n plus one over six yes i want you to use mathematical induction to show that this is valid for all integers n greater than or equals to one i wish you luck I'm trying this.
and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this exercise. Bye for now.